Eyewitness News has teamed up with the Evansville Otters this year to help build a house for Habitat for Humanity. It's called The House the Otters Built, sponsored by Eyewitness News. Brandon Bartless gives us an update. Last Thursday, we told you about this very special project that we're very excited about. Tonight, we want to introduce you to a special woman who has been there working every day. And once that house is finished, she and her three children will call that house their home. To be honest with you, I was skating on this daggone floor when we did this floor. <laughs> So, it's just very exciting. Kimiko has been doing a lot of celebrating at this construction site in Evansville. Since the official raising of the wall last week, she's been there every step of the way, helping to raise many more walls in what will soon be her new home. I know I drive them crazy when I'm out here with them sometimes because I'm always questioning, like, is this lined up? Is this right? Is this straight? Kimiko is taking a lot of pride in helping to build this home. It'll be the first home she's ever owned, but it won't be the first Habitat home she's lived in. We grew up in a Habitat home on the south side, and so it just made me want a home of my own to see my mom do so well. Now Kamiko is looking forward to giving her three children what her mom was able to give her through that Habitat home, a home with a room of her own. It was stability, our own home, having my own room, and my brothers having their rooms down the hall. It was just nice to be able to decorate it all on our own and just, you know what I mean, just be able to come home and this is our house. Before that happens, Kamiko will be putting in 300 sweat equity hours, building and transforming all of this wood into a house that will become her home. And it just goes to show you that hard work does, does pay off. Like hard work and determination and dedication, it, it pays off. And you'll be hearing much more from Kamiko and others who are helping to build that house. So be sure to join us every Thursday night as I update you on the progress of the house the Otters built, sponsored by Eyewitness News. Brandon Bartlett, Eyewitness News.